Law enforcement here tell me they've been preparing uh, for all the thousands of people that are going to be descending here on Balloon Fiesta Park long before what happened in Las Vegas. And they say that just because they were planning ahead doesn't mean they won't be using new techniques and new technology to keep you safe. We have changed our uh, security plan, but it did change well before Las Vegas. In the wake of the Las Vegas massacre, Albuquerque Police Chief Gordon Eden says his department is prepared for the worst at Balloon Fiesta. We know that that's the elephant in the room. APD, the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office, the FBI, Albuquerque Fire, and more are working together on a security plan. We have 100% of our deputies that are active shooter certified. But those deputies were certified and prepared to defend balloon watchers long before Vegas. Vegas. And if law enforcement have to deal with any sort of emergencies out here at Balloon Fiesta Park, they've got a new way to handle it using these devices on the Ben 14 network. It's a new network available exclusively to law enforcement. They can communicate across agencies and don't have to worry about the crowding of that public network. For the first time this year, security will be doing bag checks at every entrance and on park and ride buses. An auto theft task force is also battling crime by hanging these tags on balloonist cars. Warning. This vehicle is participating in the New Mexico Auto Theft Prevention Program and could be subject to GPS monitoring. Random balloonist vehicles will be tagged with GPS monitors to prevent theft. Balloon Fiesta organizers say they're confident in this year's plans to keep you safe. Balloon Fiesta Park is the safest place in the state to be during those nine days. And Chief Eden tells us there are even more techniques that APD is using to keep you safe, but keeping those things quiet is in the best interest of keeping you safe while you're out here at Balloon Fiesta. Reporting live at Balloon Fiesta Park, David Carl, KOAT Action 7 News.